Hello everyone, welcome back to another MCR3U1 video and in this video we will be starting chapter 8 on discrete functions of financial applications and in this particular uh, lesson we will be covering section 8.1 on simple interest. Here's the chapter outline for um, chapter 8 and it is quite a short outline but here it is and of course today we will be covering simple interest and you can find extra practice questions after the lesson on pages 4, 481 to 482 in the textbook. So let's get started. Here's the success criteria for the lesson. So we want to learn and understand simple interest. That's the main goal. And then we want to learn the formula for simple inter interest and the formula for amount, which we'll get to what that is in the next slide. Okay, so let's first go over the key terms we want to know when we work with simple interest. The first is principle. <coughs> Sorry. The first is principle. This is the actual amount we want to invest or borrow initially. So if I'm investing into a bond or if I'm borrowing money for a house or for a car, this is principle. This is the money um, that we're getting from the start. Then simple interest is the interest earned or paid depending if you are investing or borrowing right so if you're investing you earn interest and if you're paying um sorry if you're borrowing then you pay interest and only on the original amount remember original amount of money invested or borrowed aka the principal this means that with simple interest, we only take a fraction of the beginning value. Um, the fraction depends on the interest rate and keep adding this fraction to the total amount, usually e each year or uh, depending on um, how long the terms are where you have you get interest. It could be half a year, sometimes two years. Um, depends really on the investment you're making and where you're making it. Um, but Usually each year you add a fraction of the beginning value to your total. That's how simple interest works. So interest is just the money earned from an investment or inversely the cost of borrowing money. So depending if you invest or borrow, while simple interest is a type of interest. Interest itself, this interest is general. Lastly, we have amount. And this is the total value of an investment or loan after we add the interest. Um, so after, of course, the first year, you're not going to earn any interest because you just invested the money. <laughs> so your amount is going to be your initial amount, your principal. But after your first year, right, depending again on the term, after your first year of the investment, you're going to get money into your account or into your um, where you're keeping the money. And your amount is going to be the principal plus your interest that you have earned. Um, and, and yeah, so uh, depending on what year or how many years have gone by, this increases. So we'll go through an example and we'll actually see how this works. So the example says Amanda wants to invest $2,000. Her bank will pay 6% of principal per year. Each year, the money is kept in a savings account that earns uh, simple interest. Calculate the interest earned and the amount of the investment at the end of first year. So it says Amanda invest $2,000. So this $2,000 right here is going to be our principal. Principal. Oh, oh not that one principal and her bank will pay six percent of principal per year this is our int interest rate six percent um and this happens because the money is kept in a savings account and some savings account earn simple interest so it says how much interest is earned and the amount of the investment at the end of the first year so if we want to calculate for amount, we use this formula. So our amount is going to be our principal value, which is 2000 
plus our interest earned after our first year, which is going to be 2000 times our interest rate. So our 0 0.06, which is going to be our 6%. <clears throat> so again, how simple interest works is that you take whatever the, um, the interest rate is that the uh, investment earns interest by, um, and you take that fraction of the initial value and you add it to your total amount. So right here, each year, you're adding 6% of 2000 to your total amount. So our total amount right now is 2000. We're adding 2000 times 0 0.06, which is going to give us 6% of 2000. So this is going to be 2000 plus and zero, uh, 0 0.06 times 2000. It's going to give us 120. So by the end of the first year, this is going to be our amount, $2,120. If we kept on to a second year, then our amount will be, again, using this equation, our initial value, which is our principal, plus 2,000 times 0 0.06, plus another 2,000 times 0 0.06, or you could just say 2,000 times 0 0.06 times 2. So this interest, this I right here, is our total interest that we're earning after so many amount of years, right? It's not just the interest we earn after the first year. The interest we earn after the first year is just this, but now we're adding a second term because after two years, we gain that interest again. And remember, as you can see, it is 6% of our principal value again, right? Because after first year, we have 2,120, but we don't take the interest of this number. We take the interest of the principal. So this is going to be 2,000 plus 2 times 120. It's going to be 240. And this is going to give you $2,240 after second year, right? And it also says calculate the total interest. And the total interest is just going to be this part, right? Our I in our amount equation. <laughs> right so it's just going to be 120 for the first year and 240 if two years pass but this question only asks us for um how much interest after first year and so that is 120. now some facts that we should know and understand about simple interest it is actually calculated sorry it is calculated only on principle as we just saw and uh, some people get confused with this um, and compound, sorry, some people get confused with simple interest and compound interest. So just remember that we only work with the principal and take a fraction of the principal number and add that to our total after each term passes and each, ter each term being usually a year. Then unless otherwise stated, oh, I should have pointed this out, but now we're here at our second point that unless otherwise stated an interest rate is assumed to be per year as i said um so we will gain simple interest usually after each year passes and lastly uh the amount and interest earned are linear functions in terms of time because they both increase at the same rate the yearly interest we get we add it to our amount but we also add it to our total interest earned right um like we did, we saw in the last, uh, in the last slide, right? We earned one twenty dollars, right, every year, and we add that to our total. So our total increases by one twenty each year, but our total total interest also increases by one twenty each year because that's just that's just how much interest we gain each year. So they're going to increase at the same rate. Here's the simple interest formula which goes like this. Um, it says total interest equals, total interest being here, equals the principal amount times the interest rate times the time, which we usually count in years. And again, let me explain this formula. We're calculating for total interest. So we wanna know how much interest we have gained after so many amount of years, or so many amount of terms where we gain interest. So what we do is we take our principal value and we multiply it by the rate 
and this will give us the fraction <coughs> the fraction of our initial amount that gets put in our account each year right that we gain each year if we're investing or that we have to pay each year if we're borrowing money and we multiply it by how many years have gone by so after three years for example if our initial value is 2000 and our rate is 10%, right? We're adding 10% of 2000 um, into our account, which is um, 200. So we're adding 200 into our account each year. And let's say three years have gone by, so we multiply it by three. So we're gonna get 200 times three, we're gonna get $600. And that makes sense because each year we gain 200. If three years go by, we're gonna gain 200, 200, 200, uh, which is 600. Here's the amount formula for simple interest and the amount equals our principal plus our total interest, right? Because our total amount, as I said, we already saw this formula. We get our initial amount and we add how much interest we have kind of um, gained throughout all the terms or all the years that have, that have gone by. Now, if we substitute in our interest formula from our last slide, we get P plus PRT, right? PRT, we just saw it on the last slide. And now if we factor out a P, our, our principal, we get P times one plus RT. That's it, P times one plus RT, are being our interest rate again, and T being our time as usual. And so the formula that we'll mostly be using is A, amount is equal to principal times one plus the rate times time. Now here we have a little example so you can see how these formulas work and how we can solve problems. It says Alan invest $3,240 at a rate of 2.4% annually of simple interest. It says calculate A, the interest earned each year and B, the amount in total interest earned after 20 years. <laughs> so A, we just want to look at how much interest we earn in one year. So what basically is asking us what percent of our principal, which is 3,240, I'll actually do it like this, principal, this is our rate, right? What amount of our principal is actually getting added to our to Alan's account each year? And we can simply get that by, we're gonna say interest per year. So we're gonna say interest per year is our principal times our rate. Remember that total interest is gonna equal P R times t but this is our total interest i'm just trying to find um the interest we earn in one year because it's asking us the interest earned each year and remember as i explained this formula before p times r gives us exactly that it gives us the interest we earn each year and then we multiply it by the number of years that have passed to get our total interest but right now we just care about i y and i y if we plug in our numbers it's just going to be p which is 3240 and 2.4%, which is simply 0.024, right? We turn into 0.024, so we can get 2.4% of our principal value. If we plug this into our calculator, we will get 77.76 dollars. <laughs> Therefore, the interest earned each year is 77.76 and now since we are working with simple interest this 77.76 dollars will get added to the account each and every year the amount doesn't change the amount that gets added doesn't change it's always 77.76 the total amount might change because we're adding money to the account but the amount being added each year does not change the annual uh, interest that's added. 
So let's go through B. Now B is asking us for the amount and total interest after 20 years. So we have to use our two formulas that we just learned. And if we remember our interest formula, we want to multiply principal times rate, but principal times rate is just our what we uh, what interest we earn annually, which is IY, which we just figured out is 77.76. So instead of PR, we can just say IY times T this time, because we want to multiply it by the number of years that have passed. Um, so we can get the total interest earned, right? Because we're uh, every year we're getting 77.76 plus 77.76, so on until 20 years, right? So if we plug in our numbers, 77.76 times 20 years, we're going to get 1,555.20 dollars. That's how much we Allen earns at a rate of 2.4% annually of simple interest when he invests this much money in the beginning, right? He's going to earn that in 20 years. Now, what total amount does he have in his bank account? Uh, well, we can simply say that, well, we'll actually um, calculate it in two ways. We can simply say that the amount that he has is just the principal value plus the total interest, right? As we saw in the last slide, there's a few different versions of this formula. So if we plug in our int total interest formula, it's gonna change. But we can simply just add these two numbers, which would be really simple. 3240 plus 1555.20, and we will just get the total amount. So amount is gonna be 3240 plus 1555 plus 20, uh, 0.20. And the amount that he has in his bank account after 20 years is $4,795 with 20 cents. Now, the other way we could have done it is like this, the other version of the formula. If we plugged in our uh, total interest formula and then substituted out a P, we would have gotten this formula, principal times one plus the rate times time. And I'll just do it this way, just to see that we do get the same answer. So we sub in our principal value. We sub in our rate, 024, and we'll just multiply it down here. We multiply it by the time, which is 20 years. And I can, I can actually put it up here, right? Now, if we multiply 0 0.024 times 20 years, we add one, and we multiply it by our, by our principal value, we should get $4,795 with 20 cents. So therefore, that's not gonna fit there. Therefore, the amount I actually say after 20 years, the amount earned is amount earned. No, the amount is $4,795.20 and the total interest earned is let me put it down here $1,555 with 20 cents and that's the end of our question okay and that is it for simple interest guys thank you for much, so much for watching and make sure to keep practicing I hope you found the video useful